Hey guys, it's Marisa. Welcome back. Um, if it's your first time here, I am so happy you're here. Welcome. As you can see, you know I love props and I love me some Halloween. So today is round one of the Battle of the Pouring Mediums. Okay, I am waiting. I did buy the Apple Barrel um, Pouring Medium and some Deco Art. I have never used those before. Um, but they have not arrived yet. Um, but what did arrive was the, uh, co uh, what color is this? This is Bright Magenta from Apple Barrel. So I want to add that to uh, this little lineup. And the two pouring mediums we're going to be testing versus is the Floetrol by Flood and the Sargent pouring medium. That's what that looks like, okay? And in yesterday's video, I'll link that up here, I uh, gave a good description of what flood is used for, but it is really good for um, the flow of paint, usually in-house paint, uh, when they use those big sprayers. That's what the guy at Home Depot told me. Um, yeah, so... But it just makes the paint more fluid, and so does this, obviously. Um, but certain pouring mediums could add, like, a gloss to them. You know, there's all different types. Okie dokie. So, I am going to be using the paints I'm going to be using. So, I'm going to use the same paint, okay, the same colors, in two different cups. And I'm going to be doing two... Uh, small little paintings, and we're going to test these guys out and see which um, painting comes out. You know, what my opinion, of course, my opinion. Everyone can have their own opinion, obviously, um, of what I think which painting looks better and what pouring medium worked better with these paints. Um, again, these are craft paints. So, um, I will not have to use a lot of the pouring medium because uh, craft paints do have uh, naturally just more water. They're not as highly pigmented. However, um, the Apple Barrel, the pigment's pretty good. They do just come out more pastel. So, I didn't want to use all Apple Barrel because I didn't want it to be all pastel. So, I am using uh, Color Flash. Uh, this is Purple Flash, the Color Shift Paint. Okay, that's Folk Art. We have some Deco Art Gloss Enamel in Lavender and in Purple, like a deep purple. We have the Apple Barrel in Turquoise and, let me turn that around, Bright Magenta. Okay, I want to kind of mix it up today um, and see what happens because this is some gloss. This comes out very matte. The Apple Barrel comes out very matte. And pastel so I just want to get a nice little mix of paints so we're going to use the same exact paints two different pouring mediums and let's see who wins this is part one so we're gonna see all right stick around and the pour will be next
Hey guys, I'm back. So, um, I let these two sit for a few minutes, maybe five, ten minutes, to see if anything else would happen. Um, and these two paintings, there's like no water, no silicone in either one of them. Um, I did add a little white paint in here. Um, that is Apple Barrel uh, white paint, so that's, you know, similar to both. Um, and what I did do in each of the paints, I did try to keep the same consistency with both pouring mediums. And I try to use the same amount of paint, you know, the same amount of um, pouring medium. But, you know, with each paint is very different of, like, the thickness, the consistency of each paint. So sometimes you have to add more pouring medium. Like, the deco art is a little thicker than um, the apple barrel paint. It, like, mixed much quicker and easier, whereas the deco art, I had to add more pouring medium. But I tried to keep the same amount of paint, my best, you know, the best I could do. Um, yeah, and so far, I have to say... They both look very similar, um, but, you know, we don't know how it's going to dry yet. So this is the flow troll one. Okay, there are some cells, like I figured. And this is the sergeant art. I hope I don't drop it. And there are some cells in here, too. Uh, possibly it was the white paint I used in both, but we shall see. So probably I'm going to keep let this dry and um, probably tomorrow I'm going to give it like the 24 hours uh, for them to dry and I'm going to come back tomorrow and show you how they both dried and see what I really think. But right now um, they look very, very similar. I like them both. The colors are pretty. And I like how they both flowed. Um, I did notice that the flow troll one, which is this one, um, the fluidity was much better. You know, maybe a little too much, but it was, the paint got a little thinner than the uh, sergeant. So that was like the difference I saw immediately uh, when I actually, you know, poured the paint in and started tilting the painting around. So tomorrow, in my tomorrow's video, I will show you how they dried. And yeah, that's it for today. Um, I have some big ideas coming. I literally couldn't sleep last night. I had so many ideas. And uh, yeah, so I have a lot um, to show you guys. And I'm really, really excited. So um, if you like this video, please give me a little thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. If you're here for the first time, thank you so much for watching. If you've been here for a while, you know, I just appreciate everyone's support. And, uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next time. Thanks, guys, so much. See you tomorrow.